Unreal Unreal Engine Engine Rendering in Unreal Engine. And that was the prompt. Any bizarre sentence, keyword, object, or style, this quote-unquote AI can generate anything and everything related with its own twist into the image. It took over r slash deep dream like a storm and made deep dream itself literally irrelevant. This is the new AI toy that has also seamlessly and silently took over the AI art community by its unreasonably fun and high quality results. Called VQGAN plus Clip, which is a combination of the research study VQGAN, short for Taming Trans transformers for high resolution image synthesis and clip short for learning transferable visual models from natural language supervision this vq gam plus clip implementation was initially created by katherine Carlson, inspired by mainly big sleep and many other generative ai implementations and style transfers this stood out the most because of the vq gam that achieved high resolution image generation making these generative arts weirdly clear and well defined it took clips natural language and visual understanding and ability to make VQ can generate images based on the input prompts with its high quality image synthesis techniques. It may not be as clear as normal images should be, but it certainly is clear enough for you to understand various concepts and content in the image. And just by browsing through the not deep dream anymore deep dream subreddit, there are just loads of hilarious and fascinating generative art for you to witness to your heart's content. Prompt engineering is also an important aspect when it comes to these kinds of generative of AIs. For instance, by adding terms such as Unreal Engine, VFX, Hyperrealistic, Rendering, the art that it generates will somehow be upgraded into higher quality. It's like straight up telling the AI what you want, which is hilarious. There are loads of amazing tests done by a lot of people already, and you can discover them by surfing around Reddit and Twitter. What I've learned is that it's pretty fun to see how unexpected your art will be, especially when you prompt it with some open-ended sentences or concepts. It will definitely fetch the keyword, but sometimes it's oddly correct and it's surprising how well it can follow your prompt. But this also, this VQ Gen Plus clip has become relatively easier to use thanks to Justin John that made the collab user interface a lot friendlier and easier to use for your own fascination. I'll link that down in the description. It's so easy that let me give you a quick rundown of how it works. First, you click this and you say yes. Check if it's the right GPU and click this and click that. Press restart runtime and start clicking again. Take this model or any others if you want to try them out, run the cell and input the prompt that you want in the parameter cell. Change the model to the one that you downloaded and then set the resolution to this or anything that you want so the online GPU won't run out of VRAM. Iterations between 400 to 1000 is usually enough and you run the following cells and wait for the fun results. The more iterations, the more times AI will continue to synthesize the image but usually it will reach its potential peak and won't get any much better. So it's not necessarily to to run it a lot of times. The C part is just like the Minecraft seed and setting it to negative one basically makes it always random. It will also generate a video that you have been constantly seeing on my video. It will show the generated images over the iterations that you have prompted to the AI, which is pretty cool. You can choose to start with an image or have a target image for the AI to reach. It will usually aim for the prompt but can generate something close to your input image and can produce all kinds of madness. And man, this is just what I love about AI implementations, as the limit is no longer just our imaginations but also the AI's imaginations. It is thanks to VQGAN that has made generating large and high quality images possible, which is an absolute stunning work that relies on code booking visually important image segments. So if you have a GPU with 24 GB VRAM, then you can probably do some very high resolution generative image to flex on us normies. And of course, you are welcome to share them on my Discord channel too. If you want to learn more about both research papers that were used in VQ GAN plus clip, I'll link them in the description. And if you want to learn more about AI in general, today's sponsor Skillshare actually has it for you. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can freely explore new skills, deepening existing passions, and have fun with your creativity. And there's this class called Data Science and Machine Learning with Python hands-on by Frank Kane, which really caught my eye, and I actually took it, and it's 
actually really good. Not only can we learn about machine learning practically with Python, it is also a great starting point alongside what I usually do on my channel. The lessons aren't that long either, so you can easily go through them during your free time. Right now, they are also providing a limited time offer of one month free premium trial instead of the usual two weeks. So even if you're done with that class, you can also check out their other amazing ad free and high quality creative classes like photography, illustrations, and video editing. The first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Lastly, thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to Andrew and many other Patreons and members that support my work through Patreon and YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord too. Follow my Twitter if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one.